Hey, what's going on, guys? Give it a spell. Welcome back to more Wrath of Cortex today. If you're thinking it was over, well, you were wrong. Um, I was actually requested to do this by one of my friends at school. He's also got a YouTube channel. Um, so I've decided to do the secret hub, which is located on the secret platform on the well, in the middle of the hub world. Ah, uh, not crush your sister. No. She's the last person I wanted to use. Ugh. But anyway, yeah, so last time we beat the final boss, which you would have thought it'd be the end, but um Actually I did this on my save file, so I won't be collecting the gem in the level or the relic. But I can't be bothered to go and get all the relics and all, but I just wanted to show you guys what these levels are. And this is called Nighttime, this level. It is an interesting level. It'd just be better if we didn't have to use Crash's slowly sister. And I gotta admit, the level theme for this, like the um, the music track for this level, is just absolutely fantastic. It's probably one of our favourite tracks in the game, actually. It's just really epic and all. So, but yeah, anyway. So if you if you guys haven't noticed yet, I'm pretty sure if you guys know Wrath of Cortex better than me, you'd know that this level is the this level is the gauntlet, actually, the one that we played with Crash, um, in Hub Three. And they, yeah, they remade it with Coco in the dark, and you use this little um, light bug to um, show you the way. Pretty sure you guys know that. Also, you get the running button as well, uh, which you unlock in the final boss afterwards, which means you can run now. Uh, it is pretty good. I say it is especially good for for relic missions. So uh, like getting relics, it'd be a good way to get them. Oh, pretty tired tonight, sir. So. Gotta say, it might not be as good as normal, but you know, I'll try my best. So as you can see, I've got a bit more lives than I did on my um, actual LP data. I've got about 99 lives on this. I think I had about 20 summer on um, <clears throat> my Let's Play file. All right, so yeah, my, I think probably in about the next part, my walkthrough will be finished, and I'll be moving on. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do after this. I might just finish up some of my old LPs and then. Um, I do have something in mind after this game. Um, can't tell you what that is yet, but I'm pretty sure Crash fans look out for it because it will be something maybe to do with Crash. So that's all I'm gonna say for now. But um, yeah, anyway, yeah, you can get a life and a Aku Aku there, but I fucking hell, this is why I hate Crash's sister. She's so crap. You can't even do a double jump. All right, nice and easy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to get that life there. So we're up to 98 lives again. The good thing is I will have to save it, so when I go back onto it, it'll be up to 99 lives again. Right. I'm not sure if it's as long if it's as long as the actual normal gauntlet, but I think it's exactly the same. I'm not too sure, but I think it is exactly the same level. I did prefer it with Crash, to be honest, though. But like I said, the level theme is good, so it kind of makes up for those bad parts of it. I just noticed that that wizard that fires that like green blast here, that's used in ref in Crash to Insanity as well. They must have copied and pasted that or something, or used it again, because I remember that being it's in the first boss of Crash to Insanity. Cortex uses it with his um, ray gun thing. Anyway, so hopefully we won't have to use Crushy's slutty sister ever again. Goodbye. I gotta admit, that is the only bad part about Rafa Cortex, to be honest, for me. Besides all the screens, is Crush's sister. Ugh. I'd rip her head off, I swear down, she's so annoying. Anyway, moving on. So, what selection level, you might ask? Well, we shall come and see. Uh. Oh yeah, uh, I've got some good news for Crash fans. If you're watching this and you're a Crash fan, the good news is a new Crash Bandicoot game coming out in 2012. I thought I'd never see the day. And I'll tell you in a minute. And um, this is the next level, which is Ghost Town. Uh, yeah, I'll explain about it when we get onto the level. But yeah, there's a new Crash game. Activision uh, put it on Wikipedia as they put it as TBA, which means that they're in the works of it. I really hope it's real. I mean, it should be because it is. Conf it's, it looks like it is by Activision that they did it. So, we can only hope. 
I'm not sure what it's going to be. Let's just hope it's not another Crash of the Titans. I'm hoping it might be going back to the old kind of Crash games. Or maybe it could be a racer. I don't know. Uh, I don't mind, to be honest. Anyway, moving on. So, this is um, Ghost Town. I, I thought it was so funny when I was little. I didn't understand it. I mean, I thought we just defeated Crunch. Now he seems to want to go racing in some kind of cowboy racetrack or something. I don't even know. I did not get this at all, but, you know, whatever. Whoever floats his butt. I just don't get what's he. What the heck is he doing here? We just defeated him and he's still here. Hmm. I'm very confused. Uh, so yeah, this is this is is basically there is actually a good cheat for this level, which basically means I won't have to do anything to win this race. Just to win the race, no boxes or anything. Is all you have to do is leave your remote still. I'm not joking. If you leave your remote still, it will complete the level for you, and you'll win the race, even if you don't do anything with your remote. I found that so amazing when I found out that. But in the, it actually does work as well. If you just leave your remote to, to stay still, it just do the does the whole level for you. It's quite amazing, really. But you know, if you, if you want to provide better gameplay like me, then I'm gonna try and collect some of the boxes. Obviously, not all of them, because I'm you know I'm not doing a hundred percent walkthrough of this game. I'm doing every level, but I'm not doing the hundred percent with all the relics and the gems and all that. So. And that is basically the end of the level. It's a pretty easy level to say it's a secret level as well. You would expect these to be quite hardcore levels, but yeah, I guess not. So yeah, Crunch can stop racing now. Somehow he decided to race us. I don't know why, but you know. Uh, I don't know why. My mind just keeps on going blank and I just keep on stuttering all of my words. It's really annoying. Come on. Uh, work, brain, work. Ugh. All right, so I think we'll have time for maybe one more. I don't know if we're going to finish the level or not, so we'll just see how far we can get in the level. If we can't complete it, then, you know, we'll finish it off next time, so, you know. All right, so the next level is I Station Bandicoot. Uh, this is a race level, actually. If you remember level 15 in, in the fire hub when you got the helicopter pack yeah it's basically the same as that really <sighs> see not, surprisingly not many people have actually seen all the secret levels in this game partly because some of them just thought this game was so crap that they couldn't be bothered to play past the first level others um found it pretty difficult to get all the relics. Me personally, considering this was the first game I ever got, I find it pretty easy to be honest. I mean, it kind of amazes me that some of the easiest games for me will be some of the really hardest for some people. Like, I know some people that are really good at COD, but still can't play stuff like, say, Mario or something, like New Super Mario Bros, which is, in my opinion, probably the easiest game I've ever played. Uh, it's because it's just running and jumping to me, but to people, that's like, I mean, I, I was pretty crap at COD when I first played it, but I got better at it, and I say that's more challenging than Mario, but, and as for Crash, I mean, I, I find him pretty easy, but a lot of people, I guess, would find him pretty difficult, but, still love Crash, he's such a great. Alright, so basically the, the theme for this level, uh, well, you're basically seeing is just to get all the rings, to get all the boxes, just remember, you don't have to hit the nitrous boxes, uh, there's actually one of those green boxes at the end that explodes them all, so... Well, obviously, you guys probably know that, but, you know, just clearing the facts. Oh, you could do that, but, you know. So, yeah, the, you, for some reason, I don't know where this fat polar bear came from. I mean, it, it always mind-boggles me when I just think about this polar bear. I mean, why, why, what's with all the races in the secret levels? Nearly every level is a race. Again, see if it's either Crunch or some kind of fat polar bear that's... Oh, but, well, I think you should just go return to Bird's Eye, as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, so that's the end of that level, so next time we shall complete the two last levels, and yeah, that'll be the end of the walkthrough, I'm afraid. So please like and subscribe, maybe drop a comment if you can, don't forget to tune in next episode, we'll be doing more Wrath of Cortex, maybe finishing the whole game. 
And yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. So have a good day. And don't forget to check out my other parts of my walkthrough. And I'll catch you guys next time.